So we're going to factor this one out the same way. Uh, this one we have to be careful. I guess we could look at this in terms of squares, but it's possible we may get to cubes. I don't know. No, 64 is not a perfect cube. 4, 16, 60. No, it is a perfect cube. Okay. And that's all right then. So V to the power of 18 would be V to the power of 9 cubed. Is everyone okay with that? Well, could you do difference with squares or no? I want to say you could. Let's try it this way first, and then we'll see if we can do the difference of squares. And then this is minus 4 cubed. All right, so the difference of cubes gave us something like this, right? A minus B, and then we got uh, A squared plus AB plus B squared. How did you, how did you get that 9 to the third power? Yeah, why are you doing that? Oh, so I, I just have this V to the power of 18. V to the power of 18. So I'm looking for V to some power cubed. So I just take I just took 18 and divided it by 3 to get 6. Why did you start looking for a cube? Uh because 64 is a perfect cube. Thanks. So yeah, thank you. That is v to the power of 6 cube. I apologize cuz I was squaring it in my mind for some reason. So my a is v to the power of 6 minus Four. And then my A again is V to the power of 6, but this is going to be squared, plus A, which is V to the power of 6, times B, which is 4, and then plus B, which is 4, but squared. All right, so what does this give us? We got v to the power of 6 minus 4 and then inside we got v to the power of 12 plus well, I'm gonna make that 4 v to the power of 6 plus 16 now again you could check by multiplying everything together and just make sure you end up with v to the power of 18 minus 64 uh, but what I'm talking about in terms of factoring more stuff out is this v to the power of 6 minus 4. There we got two perfect squares. And so we can use the difference of squares. Because <coughs> v to the power of 6 is the same as v to the power of 3 squared. And 4 is the same as 2 squared. Now I'm just looking in this set of parentheses here on the left. So that changes it to v to the power of 3 minus 2 and v to the power of 3 plus 2 and then multiplied by this set of parentheses. Let's look then at factoring this as though it were a two, the difference of two squares. And just, well, just see how it comes out, all right? All right, so we're looking at two perfect squares. Let's see what we get. This would be v to the power of 9. That's the one that I meant it to be originally. And 64 is 8 squared. And we're subtracting. So we got the difference of two squares. You could factor this by grouping, but for time's sake, I'm just going to factor this using the difference of squares. So I've got v to the power of 9 minus 8. And then I've got v to the power of 9 plus 8. Um, v to the power of 9 and 8 are both perfect cubes. So it's looking like this way comes out a little bit more complicated. I don't know. Let's, let's see how it turns out. Maybe it'll be less complicated. I don't know. Uh, what do we get then? So this is v to the power of 3 cubed minus the 8, which is 2 cubed. And same thing on this side, we got v to the power of 3 cubed, but plus the 8, which is 2 cubed. 
All right, so we got the difference of cubes and uh, the sum of cubes on this one. So just looking at, so yeah, this one should have been green right here. If we look at this first set of parentheses, then we get v cubed. This would be minus the b value, which is 2. And then in parentheses, we've got v cubed a, and then we've got plus a b. So I am skipping some values here, uh, some steps, and then plus the b squared, which is 4. And then this set of parentheses I'll do in red. We've got v cubed plus 2, and then multiply it by v cubed minus 2v cubed, more space, and plus 4.